Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good night my friend Let's talk about the laptop Toshiba laptop With motherboard PR10ML The trouble of this laptop is cannot turn on not charging no any indicator that light on and when we when I plug the power supply to this laptop I can see the current at my digital power supply about zero point 16 0.16 before I press the power button this current just so this current so just after I plug the power supply to this motherboard of of this laptop how to fix this problem okay as usual eh? to find the problem source of this laptop motherboard we must check the 19 volt for first at DC jack at the motherboard and this video not live video right I just uh, tell you my reparation story because this laptop now have fixed and I think uh, impossible to disassemble again this laptop okay steps to fix this problem is first check the 19 volt at the DC jack and then check the 5 volt and 3 volt 3 volt and 5 volt is at this area and uh, I can see the 5 volt and 3 volt here and this controller IC this is very hot I think this any problem at this area so I unplug the power source uh, because this controller IC very hot <coughs> you have now i think that if this control ic overheat usually caused by the component that broken that placed at at its fit one one of the fits or one of the pins of this IC and then I check one by one uh, the pins of this IC using the multi-tester with bus uh, I think you have understand about using the multi-tester I check uh, all pins begin from the pin 1 2, 3, 4 I hope I find the pin that short circuit to the ground uh, and finally I found the pin number 
Number 17 Pin number 17 That called V-Rec 5 I know that in normal condition this pin should be about 5 volt in normal condition and not such circuit to the ground but in this controller IC in this motherboard this pin have short circuit to the ground shorted to the ground and after I check here I find a SMD capacitor small SMD capacitor with color brown young brown coklat muda warnanya coklat muda and, and then I try to remove this small capacitor using the heater blower and after I remove this capacitor and then I check again this pin and this pin now in normal condition not sorted again and then to ensure the condition of this capacitor I check this using the multitester I mean this capacitor and yes this capacitor have broken short circuit between between its pins you know that this capacitor have two pins <coughs> so this is the problem source of this motherboard I get the other small capacitor from the older motherboard and and I install installing this to this motherboard and I try to turn on this motherboard and, and yes this motherboard working again finally I reassemble this motherboard to its case and the laptop working working again in normal condition as before okay the job done and I try to share this experience to you to you all <clears throat> so once again if you have been repairing the motherboard with the same problem not working cannot turn on not charging and the controller IC overheat very hot this is not always caused by the broken IC I mean this I the IC that very hot not always broken as this motherboard overheat caused by a small component that installed at the pin number uh, 17 17 and uh, that that not not in normal condition that broken okay my friend this is my story about repairing the Toshiba L740 with problem cannot turn on and not charging caused by the small capacitor that broken I hope this 
video will useful thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe 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 my channel and like this video and see you again in the next video wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh